Hello, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to um, nice um, talks. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, nice performance management. We're only going to be giving here around um, 10, 15 minutes. And I'm going to try and keep this as conversational as possible. Remember, I am actually talking to myself, well, to my screen. But we'll do the best um, um, I can, actually, um, over here. So again, thanks, um, everyone, um, um, for, for joining. I'm going to basically going to be um, addressing today two questions. Two questions, and, 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 and that is it. And these are simply two common questions which we um, hear one way or another um, any times when we talk about um, performance management, which is um, the topic of today. Um, and the, top, the two questions are, I'll start with the first one, um, regarding uh, performance management is, okay, okay, we, we understand this thing of performance management, and we get this thing that it's got in all these kinds of reports and, and, and dashboards, and, and you've got KPIs there um, as well, but, but hey, We've already got this BI. Um, we've already got this BI tool, this kind of reporting tool. And you know, the BI tools today are, are pretty sophisticated. It's no longer only like for the business analyst level. It can um, cascade down to to everyone, to to agents, to all, all the way down the hierarchy of the organization. So, what is the difference between a BI tool and performance tool? And and more important, why actually do we need both of them? Okay, this is a common question. This typically exists in, 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 in customers uh, which we have, which are already mature and already have got, you know, got already a big business, have already got a BI capability or BI tool there. And there are many times a lot of rejections um, from the analysts saying, hey, look, we've got all these reports, we've got all these dashboards. We don't need this in order to understand performance. We know what, what, what's happening, okay? So um, here's one way, um, well, one answer. I mean, there there, there are many small um, differences and kind of um, in, in capabilities between a BI tool and performance tool. And usually, the vendor selling the performance tool has got its all out of the box integrations to um, his or her um, own, uh, let's say, sources of data. And nice, of course, have have got this as well. Um, they've got strong ETLs and and everything's great. So, that, but that's that's if you like kind of new to the whole idea to the, to, the, to, to, to the business. But if you already got something there. I guess this would be the answer, and this is it. In essence, BI tool is focused on providing the data. It provides data. It doesn't matter who it's to. It's if it's to the analyst, which you can then go ahead and drill down into it, or even if it's down to the agent level. But they're in the business of bringing the data, highlighting kind of where the problem is, you know, highlighting, giving like um, a KPI and everything, and showing where the problem is. But where performance management comes in, it does all that, and then it tells the agent and the supervisor, okay, okay, this is where you need to focus on in order to up the performance. For instance, the system may say, the KPI of CSAT is down. And maybe even you know, the solution will say, and, and, and the CSAT is down, um, for this specific team, for, for let's say for Donna's team, and, with, and, and the issues that exist specifically for um, are around John CSAT and in these specific interactions. So that's where you should be focusing on. Great. But the point is that after it does that, the next thing is fostering this performance program, this improvement program to now drive the agent's performance. And that is not the business of BI. So uh, uh, BI will tell these are the reports. It's an extremely sophisticated BI. You may even have your analysts trying to start figuring out, okay, here's where the problems are, and this is where we should be focusing on. But the entire process of the focusing, of having the program which starts to focus on the improvement of the agents, okay, we need to now take this specific agent or this specific team of agents and we need to create for them a program which means that they're going to be doing coaching would we'll be coaching them twice three times a week and we're going to be um, providing them with online learning and trivia and we're going to be monitoring how this um, helps um, their, their how it affects their KPI and we'll be adding into it gamification concepts uh, concepts in order to have them being more engaged I'm going to be focusing on specific behaviors because the behaviors drive a KPI and in future times, the suit the system will eat in future plans. The system will even recommend what are the best behaviors and the best tasks to give specific agents based on previous results. 
And when the program ends, we'll be able to monitor that program's effect. That entire um, um, driving of the agent's performance or the team's performance, that is not in the scope of a BI tool. So BI is great. And many, I mean, all organizations should have a BI tool. But there's many times we hear this question is, what is the difference basically between a BI solution and a performance solution? So now you know. A BI solution basically takes you up to the stage of understanding kind of where the problem is. Or if it's really, really um, strong, you've got a really, really strong, um, um, strong team, even to take you, this is kind of where you need to focus. But the entire notion of the focusing, of, of, uh, of taking it above the focus, meaning focusing now on the program in order to improve a performance, that is not in the core business of BI tools. So now you know. That is kind of the first question. And that's the first question which I wanted to um, address um, today, kind of the difference between performance and BI. The next question which we sometimes hear, and this is from customers who have already a certain um, evaluation or quality management process saying, um, in the organization, and, and most organizations today definitely take calls, um, do quality. Um, the sheer bulk of them, let's say around 75%, still do random quality, meaning they evaluate the interactions of their agents. Most of them are still phone calls, so they evaluate, even though that there's a lot of multi-channel. Oh. Okay, so um, I think we kind of got here disconnected due to a Wallace after the first question, So, but we're all on now. So the second question which we're hearing about, and, and this goes to customers who are already doing um, um, certain um, quality process. And most organizations already have um, quality processes in the organization. The bulk of them still do it randomly, but they, they still do a quality process. And that is kind of evaluating the calls as part of their interactions, as part of their day-to-day -day job. And these organizations come and say, okay, okay, we get BI versus performance, but hey, we've already got a quality process uh, working inside. That means that we try and improve our agents by evaluating their calls, maybe even coaching them here and there. Isn't that kind of what performance management comes um, has kind of in it? So what, what, why do I need um, both of them? And this, again, we don't hear this too much because most organizations understand there is a difference between measuring and driving performance, but this is still a question which um, needs to be addressed, and I'll be um, addressing it now. So what is basically the difference between a performance solution and a quality solution? Well, for the, sheer, it, the, the easiest um, answer to give is, at the end of the day, a quality solution is based on measuring and evaluating individual interactions measuring interactions. A performance solution is there in order to drive the performance. So I guess the best analogy which I could give to it is, um, you know, actually it's, it's pretty straightforward. You know, I mean, a, a quality management, you'll simply go ahead and say, okay, I'm measuring right now this person's performance. How's he doing? Or this person's, um, you know, these, I'll be measuring um, how good this certain interaction was. And still, it's done usually on individual interactions, but even if it's done on a group of interactions, evaluations is based there on measuring. And performance is there saying, okay, let's say we have all these now measurements, which we have, as, as, as we discussed in the previous one, driving is gonna be saying, okay, now we're gonna start looking at how do we drive this performance forward? What corrective actions do we need to take? Sorry about the terminology of corrective actions, but what do we actually need to take in order to drive a person's performance forward, okay? So one is kind of, again, on measuring, the other one is on improving. And if customers say, yeah, 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 but, but we've already got coaching in, inside, that again comes to say, yes, but usually in a quality solution, and that's the best way to differentiate, you'll see that the coaching is done as part of the evaluation. So you measure the interaction, you evaluate it, and then saying, okay, let's coach from this specific interaction. Here, you know, here, here's a good analogy for it. You know, you're a teacher and you walk into a class and you have, um, you, you, you teach this class um, day, day after day after day and there's a, um, a student there which um, w was um, interrupting, was talking. So you tell me, hey, listen, um, Dan, be please quiet. Okay, please be quiet. Okay, now what you've done here, if you've solved the problem, well, you kind of did it right now. I mean, he won't be talking for the next five minutes, but maybe Dan has got a larger problem. Maybe he doesn't understand what you're talking about, okay? Maybe he's got a, um, a personal problem right now. So 
Um, m maybe he's not working too well with a guy sitting next to him. Maybe he's got trouble paying attention. And I guess what I'm saying is telling a student, okay, just please be quiet. That's kind of like putting a plaster, putting a patch on a problem now. It's not taking care of the entire issue. It's not changing a behavior. And a performance solution is focused on an agent in order to change their behavior. A performance solution is focused on an agent in order to change their behavior. And that is not a one-time process. That's an ongoing program, which has got a beginning and an end. If you're there just to measure, that's fine. And that's why many times another way to look at it is evaluations and quality management. That's mainly in order for managers, in order to understand the level of um, you know, the, the, the service which they provide. So they can understand kind of a high level. But if you want something which is focusing on the agent in order to improve them, that's where performance come in. And, and it's extremely important, guys, because you know, today, just to, to share some facts, um, um, statistics with you, everything to do with driving employee performance is very, very important for their engagement as well, okay? There's approximately a 40% attrition rate um, in a standard contact center day. If you look at a 2,000 um, agent contact center, they are paying their $3.2 million annually on direct cost because of that, okay? So there's a great deal here of putting, um, you know, putting time or, or making sure that you're focusing on the agent. And you need to make sure that you're focusing on the right thing. Because again, I mean, approximately 50% of coaches' time, of, of supervisors' time is spent on coaching. What is the ROI on that? Does it work? Doesn't it work? And that is stuff which performance management solutions do. So just kind of sum these two topics up. What's the difference between a performance solution and BI solution? Well, in a nutshell, performance solution takes the BI to the next level. It not only measures and provides the data and gives you the ability to understand where the problem is, it also takes you through the path of improving, of driving an agent or a group of agents' behavior. But it's something which is not in the scope of BI. And how does it kind of relate uh, performance management solution and a quality management solution? Well, quality management is there mainly for measuring. It's there for providing the data, understanding what interactions are going well, what interactions are not going well. A performance solution says, okay, we've got now these measurements. Let's now see how we improve, how we change the behavior. That is very, very important because it puts the focus, as we said, on the agent. Okay. So I hope that kind of made sense. As I said, very kind of um, no slides behind me. So it's, well, it's a horse, but that doesn't count as a slide. Um, so yeah, I hope that kind of helped here. Um, and if you got any questions, feel free to just uh, put them in here or reach out to us uh, later after the event. And that's it. Thank you very much and enjoy the weekend.